Welcome to Feed Dump, where this week, despite everything being Pokemon Go themed all the time, we are not Pokemon. We are inspiring fictional politicians because we are different. That's right. No Pokemon Go news here, except for what I'm going to talk about later. Uh, this week, I'm King Arthur. Joining me is Aragorn. I am Aragorn, son of Arathorn, uniting humankind, raising the armies of the dead. We will defeat evil together. And Vol'jin. Who is Vol'jin? I'm the humble and reluctant yet inspiring war chief of the Horde who stepped in after the disastrous rule of Hellscream. Oh, that thing. Yeah. I'm also like eight feet tall. Police in Belleville, Ontario are asking the public to help them solve a strange mystery. There has been a rash of female mannequin thefts. In one such occurrence, a $160 prom dress was torn off a female mannequin and left behind on the floor. So far, 11 lady dummies have been stolen. That's got to be a creepy sex thing. There's no way it's not a creepy sex thing. Have you seen a mannequin? They're freaky. This would be way less scary if it was just demons possessing the mannequins and making them walk around. According to the owner of one of the stores where some of these mannequins have been stolen from, the police actually told her that they think the suspect has a mannequin fetish. So that's great. If we know it's a creepy sex thing, do you even want the mannequins back? Well, I mean, they're being stolen, so I assume mannequins are really expensive. Otherwise, you just buy them. Besides, Serge, stealing the mannequins is at least half of this fetish. I wonder what the market's like for used mannequins. Define used. Gently or vigorously? A new study from researchers at Western University has found that the thing that scares badgers most is the sound of CBC News. <laughs> Yeah, the comment section has that effect on me too. So much of my childhood was spent in fear of Peter Mansbridge's face, I completely understand. CBC News, now tripping the badger fuckometer all the way up to one. So here's how this worked. Over a five-night period, an ecologist named Leanna Zanette went out to a badger community in Oxford uh, just after dusk, as the animals usually came out to eat, and she buried their favorite food, which is apparently peanuts, in the ground. So thinking that it would lure the badgers out, and lure it did. However, while they were out there, she played them a collection of five different sounds. The sounds included sheep, bears, wolves, dogs, and people engaged in conversation. So you'd think that, you know, hearing something like, as it happens, because this ecologist was a CBC fan, and that's one of the sounds she played, would they be like, oh, well, I feel entertained and slightly caught up on current affairs while eating my peanuts. But instead, they were just like, nope, 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 and like went right back to their dens. As it happens. Well, that explains it. They're punny news summaries at the end of their introductions drive me into a squirrel slaying rage too. A 62 year old man from Queemans, New York became stuck in a mud pit while playing Pokemon Go. I understand not paying attention and getting that first foot stuck in the mud, but to look at your phone, see the grimer and be like, no, we're going in. That's dedication. Just makes me want to grab them by their fluffy little tails and just bash them on something and bash them and bash them. And <laughs> He wandered out into the woods behind his home at 2 a.m. You do know that Slenderman isn't a Pokemon, right? He's gonna get mugged by a Gru. You know what? No, we are not shaming this man. I wandered into a green belt at 2 in the morning to kick some 10-year-olds off a gym that they had displaced me from earlier that afternoon. And I almost got my chest kicked in by a deer. But I took that gym for, like, at least the ne next five hours. It was mine. Next week on Feed Dump, local internet clown murdered by deer while playing Pokemon Go. Look, there are a lot of hazards that you can just wander into playing Pokemon Go, so you have to be wary. You could wander into a mud pit, as this man did, or into an open manhole cover, the wilderness where you could get eaten by a bear. Um, you could wander into secured areas patrolled by humorless men with submachine guns. <laughs> Or you could just wind up having to have human interactions and have somebody talk into you. If a man walks up to you and wants to show you his Pokemans. Hey, hey, hey now, you guys are offering what is remarkably good and sound advice, and we can't have that out of feed dump, I just can't stand for it. If somebody offers to show you his Pokemans in a lewd way, your only recourse should be to throw your Pokeballs at his crotch until it has been captured. Then you can send it back to the professor for study, aka to get ground up into crotch candy. Crotch candy, aka Werther's Originals. But remember, there may be better sources of news, but they won't give you useful advice like that. And they don't have this hat, which Daniel sent to us. Now, if you're a fan of magic, you'll know that if you wear a hat like this, sometimes you go to Brown Town. 
But I guess I'm going to Red Town. There's a lot of gross jokes I can make about that. If I see a mannequin in a profile photo on Tinder, it's an automatic swipe left. What's a red sports team? Kansas State? The Red Wings? The Red Wings! Hockey! I got my Red Wings when I was 18. No!